All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 9 over 4 to the power of 9 over 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite this as 3 squared over 2 squared to the power of 9 over 4. And if I have something to form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 3 squared over 2 squared is going to equal 3 over 2 squared, and I still have this to the power of 9 over 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, so it's going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 9 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 18 over 4, which is equal to 9 over 2. So I have 3 over 2 to the power of 9 over 2. Now, 9 over 2 is the same thing as 4 plus 5 over 2. And this is equal to 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 4 over 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. Now 4 over 2 is equal to 2. So I get 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. And 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4. So I get 9 over 4 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2, which is the same thing as the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5. And now this is equal to 9 over 4 times the square root of 3 to the power of 5 over the square root of 2 to the power of 5. Now the square root of 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 9 root 3. And you can get this by simply multiplying the square root of 3 5 times. Now, and the square root of 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 root 2. So I have 9 over 4 times 9 root 3 over 4 root 2, which is equal to 81 root 3 over 16 root 2. And we don't want any radicals in our denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So I get 81 root 6 over 16 times 2, which is 32. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have 9 to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10, and for D, I have 3 to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30, and how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten 9 to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10. And this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. 
Now, 3 to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So, we first start with 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 10. So, I get 9 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 9 to the power of 10 times 3. And now this is equal to 3 squared to the power of 10 times 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10 is going to equal 3 to the power of 20. And I have this times 3 to the power of 1. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to 3 to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family members.